Hey everybody, welcome to my uh, 3D printing room. Um, I think uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on um, where I started from, which is uh, 3D printing panels. Um, there are some things that I'm going to be redoing on the car. And so what I wanted to do is, now that I'm redoing them, I wanted to show you, um, you know, the printing process and what I've learned uh, about the specific printing of these parts. Now, I did a uh, rather nice scoop. This is actually one of the scoops off the car. It looks really good. It's got good... Uh, uh, carbon fiber Kevlar on it. Um, it did have a warp here on the uh, intake tube, but that's kind of minor. Um, but it came out really heavy. Um, and I think that was in the process of trying to get on the inside here. And you can see it's pretty rough on the inside. Um, so getting that uh, the way I actually want it so that it's smooth for airflow um, means that I have to print another one. <coughs> now, what that specifically means is, is that I've um, actually split that scoop into two pieces. Um, a bottom piece that will have the uh, tube on it for going to the turbos, and then um, the top piece which is the actual scoop. Um, I'll carbon fiber skin those uh, right away and then and in, as individual pieces and then once I'm happy with uh, how they turn out I will glue them together and then mount them on the car. I think this is going to give us a much better finish. The other thing that I have uh, noticed uh, as we've been moving forward is I used to print um, about a 10 millimeter thickness. This is about a 5 millimeter thickness. I've actually uh, printed um, about a 15% uh, honeycomb infill and now I'm doing about a 25% um, honeycomb infill. And I did the rear quarter panels with this method and they turned out absolutely fantastic. They are hard as a rock they didn't warp in the sun um, as some of my 10 millimeter panels did. So this is what I'm uh, going to be going with in the future. Now that means some of the more complicated panels may have, you may have a more difficult time when you're doing the carbon fiber skinning. Um, but the point is that you can design your part such that you can use these thin walls because when this goes under pressure, you want the pressure on both sides here. You don't want it pulling on the part or warping it in any way. So um, this is a part that is printed on my CR-10. And uh, I do print with a raft, which is this little piece right here. You can see it just kind of breaks off quite easily. So we'll snap this off. Now some of you might ask, okay, so what are the print settings? Um, the print settings I've been using are actually a little hot. Um, I like to keep the bed because I print on glass at about 70 centigrade. And I like to actually run the head for PLA at about 220 centigrade. And that's relatively hot compared to some people who use, uh, uh, say, 195 centigrade. So, but I get the best results that way. Now, we do get some of the raft that actually sticks. 
Um, but what you can do is you can actually use a box cutter and just kind of shave those down and shave them off. And you want to kind of get the part nice. You want to make sure there's no lip on it from the from the uh, piece. And then what we're going to do is we're going. I'm going to show you how I glue these together. Now you can see that they fit pretty darn close to one another. Um, you can see a little warping maybe on the top side there. Um, that's why I keep uh, the uh, plate so hot is to avoid that warping. Um, that seems to work pretty well. It's not perfect, but for making these parts, it seems to have uh, really done the trick. Now, gluing these together, some people use um, an acrylate, uh, cyanoacrylate, which is super glue. I don't like the super glue because I don't think it's robust enough for this process. So I use something that's a little uh, it's more expensive. It's for 50 milliliters. It's about 25 bucks a tube But uh, this Plexus MA 300 it's MMA epoxy works really really well So this is what I recommend putting the panels together So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set up and then we'll get to gluing the panels Now I've taken all the raft material off and any strings or bumps or bubbles and then laid the part out. Now I like to do this usually when I'm printing I will print both sides at the same time. So if I'm printing this section I'll print actually the section for the driver and the passenger side at the same time. Um, and I find that this gives me the uh, best parts so that um, if they do warp they warp in the same way. Um, at any rate the uh, most important tool to have when you're doing this is your box knife. Um, this is, comes in real handy because you can really get all the little bits and stuff off and you can really trim up these edges so that you, you have a nice uh, place in which to um, glue. And remember, you have a very thin, very small gluing area. So that is also uh, somewhat of a challenge. The other uh, important tools are these clamps. I like these spring clamps. Um, this, these ones with the little plastic clips on them, sometimes they're okay, but other times I get glue on them and then they stick and then I end up with a clamp like this that doesn't have them on there anymore because they destroyed it. I have found that these work really well um, and then I can just kind of uh, shave the glue off uh, as I go. So these are the kinds of clamps that we'll be using. Now one of the things that I like to not do is throw away my boxes that my filament comes in because I actually use this for my glue up. So you basically can make yourself some sections where you can actually mix the glue and then I like to cut off one of the ends and now I have a platform and a stir stick. So let's get to gluing. Now you don't need a whole lot of this stuff. Um, the reason I was taking my time there was is because I had to get um, both of the materials out since this is a two-part epoxy. It's been a while since I've glued something up, so I had to cut the tip off. 
Let me mix this up. Now, it comes in a clear version. Um, I like this black just because, well, it makes the part look nice right off the bat. And you want to butter your part. And then you want to butter the other part as well. And I usually just hang this over the edge so it doesn't get on the table. And you always want to check, okay, I've got the right part and the right sides going on. And then the other thing I would say is, is that um, I lay my parts out first because I do print both sides. And since I do that, um, what can happen is, is you can actually mix them up. And then you glue something together and go, you know, bummer, I glued the wrong parts together. Um, so then uh, you just kind of kind of have to get this sort of, it's a little sticky, so that helps somewhat. And then you just want to clamp it where it naturally wants to be. Uh, quick drying epoxy so um, I'm just gonna let this dry um, I'll do all of the rest and in the next video we'll uh, get it all together and then we'll start preparing it for uh, doing the carbon fiber skinning and then uh, we'll do that in grave detail uh, just like we're doing these parts here so that people can get an idea um, of what to do now on the printer side uh, I use simplify 3d uh, as the slicer, I really love it. Um, and the uh, thing that you can do when you're making these parts is, is that when you have, you only actually have to design one side. And the beauty of that is, is that you pull it into Simplify 3D and then you just mirror it around the Y axis and you got a passenger side and a driver side. So it's absolutely fantastic. So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy these more detailed. Uh, videos that I'm going to be doing, especially on the panel making. Um, and then next part, we'll, we'll start talking about uh, how we're going to skin these parts and get them put together. So we'll do a whole series on uh, these scoops from start to finish. So thanks again for joining me. Uh, again, subscribe uh, if you're not already subscribed and comment down below. Um, thanks again. Bye.